Okay, so in this final movie, we'll finish off the project by customizing the presentation of our project, how our project's displayed using presenter's player properties. So go ahead and open up player properties by going up to the Articulate tab and clicking player. And as you can see, presenter offers quite a few options for making changes to the way your overall project looks. You can change the location of your course menu, titles, player controls, and so much more via the player tabs, the features, and the controls down here. But for this project, we actually don't want any of the options enabled. So we'll deselect everything. I'll scroll down here to make sure I have all that. Okay, now the previous and next buttons will actually take care of that in slide properties. At this point, we're all set, so go ahead and click OK. Now that we've disabled the menu options and controls, we have one last thing to do, and that's disable the auto play options so the slides don't auto advance on their own. We do that by going back to the Articulate tab and clicking Slide Properties. Slide properties are really powerful because they give you control over each slide in your course. Things like the navigation, player features, presenters, and playlists are all customizable on a slide level, which means you can make specific changes to different slides. Now we're interested in controlling how our slide advances, so we need to toggle this option from Auto to By User, and that's it. So what it's telling, we're telling presenter to do is advance to the next slide by the user control, not automatically when the slide ends. Now, we could go through and click each of these manually, and that's a good option if you're billing by the hour, but if you're a power user, it's a little bit easier to do this all at once. We do that by just pressing Control A to select all of your slides, and over here in the right, Properties Advance, we can toggle this to By User, and you'll notice over here that um, all the options for the slides has, has, has been updated to by user. So just a quick way to update all your slides at once. Now the last thing you need to do with these slides selected is disable the previous and next buttons. We don't want the player controls uh, to, disable, to display those buttons. And you can see that right now we have no controls for any of the slides. Okay, so click OK to close slide properties. And let's take a look at our project once again by publishing it. All right, view presentation, and everything's been turned off. Click through our buttons, and we have a pretty slick little template. The final step on your own would be to insert your videos or images if you want to use it as an image gallery, and a description and a title, um, and then replace, obviously, each of these thumbnails with uh, your own images. Hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, just please post in Articulate eLearning Heroes, and I or one of the other uh, community members will be more than happy to help you out.